Today I have my Zyzel GS151024 uh, gigabit switch. This is a fanless 24 port gigabit switch with, um, well it's 26, but these are shared. Uh, it has two SFP uh, ports as well. And uh, yeah, these are really great, these things. They're, they're relatively cheap. I think this is about a hundred bucks. There's newer ones now. Um, I think my other one is a 1910. So they've released newer versions in this, but they're all basically the same. Uh, it's a compact 1U 24 port gigabit switch with uh, no fan. So they're really great for actually having around the house as opposed to like a buying one from uh, you know Cisco or whatever that has huge blower fans in it and just makes a ton of noise. The only problem with these units is that they have really crappy power supplies. Uh, the power supply itself is okay. It's decently built. I mean, it's got lots of protection and whatnot, but they use crap capacitors. These are Capzon, the greatest capacitors in the world. And as you can see, this one is bulging like crazy, which is pretty impressive considering filter caps rarely die. Um, it does have three smaller capacitors on the output they are also garbage the same brand uh, these ones are 25 volt 470 mic this is a 400 volt 68 mic <clears throat> i have a replacement for the filter cap since it's the only one that's actually failed uh, this is a rubicon bxw series so i'm going to be replacing that today i'm also going to order replacements for these three output capacitors uh, i just didn't mark down what they were when I initially uh, discovered this. Oh, there's another capacitor in there. I'm gonna investigate that too. Might need to replace that. I mean, it looks okay now, but I'm gonna replace it with these. So uh, next DigiKey order I do, I'll just order some more of these guys. But yeah, this is just a 12 volt, three amp output power supply. It's a fairly standard issue type thing but all their freaking power supplies use these cheap caps, even in the newer ones, although my newer one looks like it's in good shape right now. But one thing I'd like to investigate is the possibility of adding a fan. Now, obviously I just said it's great that this thing's fanless. With a fanless design, it doesn't expect any cooling, so it should run fine no matter what. But if you add a little cooling, that's okay. With a fan design, they're usually expecting high airflow 40 millimeter fans that make a ton of noise. So if you replace those with something lower power and lower noise, it's not getting sufficient cooling. This thing has sufficient cooling with nothing. So just adding a little bit of airflow won't hurt anything as opposed to reducing it. The board is fairly simple. It's got three eight port switch controllers, uh, power supply, uh, switch mode. These are all Nichicon or uh, Nippon Chemicon caps, so they're fine. I don't expect those to ever fail. There's a uh, main CPU and some flash memory and some RAM. Uh, there's a serial port header up here. There are two pads here for fans. There's also one down here, which is a two port one. I also want to check the voltages on these because they may be, um, it may be for five volt fans. I don't know if there's a regulator in here making a five volt, volt rail. I assume they're 12 volt because that's the only thing, the only supply that the unit's getting, but you never know. So I just want to double check that. Okay, that's all the solder removed. I just have to break away the little elastic glue that's holding this together. There we go. One bulging capacitor. And there's the model number for the power supply. You have to be a little careful when soldering on this thing because the... Uh, board has some surface mount components on the bottom side but it's not too difficult the uh, solder holes are nice and big well that rubicon should last quite a bit longer than the last one and yeah i'm going to replace these next time i uh, order from digikey like i said and this thing should last quite some time because the power supply isn't too bad. It looks reasonably well protected. I've done a power on test to make sure that the power supply is working with that replaced cap. 
and I've also checked the fan headers to see what they're outputting. This one is outputting just straight 12 volts. And these two are outputting nothing, presumably because they have a lot of components missing around here. And they're probably for um, a tachometer and uh, possibly uh, transistors to turn them on and off. So these, these two ports, are, our fan headers, are totally dead. There's a decently sized thermal pad underneath the main CPU, so watch out for that when you're taking out the main board. Flat tip, and that made short work of it. I just mixed in a little bit of leaded solder to make things a little bit easier. And then, uh, yeah, came right off. I just have a standard three pin header for a computer fan. I've just pulled out one of the pins, which is the yellow one. So that's gonna go like that. You don't need the yellow pin since there's only two connections. And the mark is ground. That soldered pretty easily. This might only be a two layer board that would explain how they're keeping the cost so low. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to get some bigger batteries for my lights. I just had two of them fail on me in just a few minutes of shooting. Yeah, this thing actually won't run a fan when you plug it in just off the start because there's a 100 ohm resistor located right here which is limiting it when you actually run some current through it it drops to about five volts so i just took the resistor out and bridged it and now it spins it's just a matter of mounting it now i'm thinking right there perhaps with some really classy double-sided tape i think that'll work well well, there we have it. That was a relatively simple mod and a pretty easy repair. And once I get those extra caps, I am going to swap out those too. I should probably do it with my 1900 series as well. I don't know if I'll put a fan in it, seeing as the caps have survived all this time. But either way, I'm going to replace the caps in both power supplies, just as a matter of course, because they're such crappy capacitors.